I have met a, a very nice gal, I got to tell you guys, for a couple months now. Very nice young lady who shall go unnamed for the moment, but the coolest, smartest chick I've ever met, I'll tell you that. So that's another reason why I haven't been on here. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. A pastor once said uh, a very good statement. He said, don't conduct a big search when it comes to looking for a mate for a female for you guys. So I wasn't looking for anything, and fate would have it. I was going to pick up Bootsy's medicine from the office because it wouldn't fit my mailbox. And there's a gazebo out back here. And the girl was stopped there, and she had been seeing me for a while, and I saw her, and I didn't know who she was. So we just started talking and then hit it off pretty good. So it's been a couple of months now. But a girl I could actually hold a conversation with has a lot of my values. She's going to be 31 next month, but because I'm 18 forever, the age doesn't matter. My chest... At the biggest was like 55 plus inches, if I recall. Yeah, she's got good genetics too. Small waist, she's got big thick legs, it's great. I might have a genetic freak if, uh, if it's God's will for, for me to have a little child with her, who knows. She's 31, Brian, she'll be 31 next month. Yep. The gal just popped up when I didn't even expect it. I, I, it was funny. I was walking over, and when I saw her, I was like, I'm probably never going to meet a girl. Like, the days are over. The last one was three years ago, and then we struck up a conversation. Who knows? I mean, it could be over as early as tomorrow, but it's going pretty well. We're on the same page. No, she's Scottish. She's like five foot four. Who knows? Yeah, get Lenny up here. He'll be the best man. He can write up a nice speech for me. We'll get it on camera for you guys. <laughs> 31 and ready for fun. Oh, yeah, for the guys. Trump had kids late in life. Larry King, Peter Weller. I think I'm good to go, like well into, you know, 50s, 60s, who knows. Similarities, the girl may have in common. Um, walking, because she was walking around the neighborhood a lot. I like to go for walks. After I lift, I'll have my shake and like whatever carbs and I'll go walk around the park. Similar, she's not into sports, but she's excited. Like what I was telling her. You know, about the Bengals and football. She's interested in learning, you know, asks a lot of questions. Similar eating. We like spicy foods and different, like, trying ethnic foods. She likes bagels. I've been giving her some bagels. I had her over for breakfast. She likes my cooking. So, but she's pretty intelligent, very inquisitive. Keeps me on my, on my toes. She exercises, you know, I'll eventually, like, go to the gym with her and show her some stuff. I want to love... Like I've never been hurt before. <laughs> as long as she's not a tattoo, you sound like my parents. Does the girl the girl know about the misfits? No, not yet. Oh, that's another funny thing. Uh, well, not funny, but. The girl had COVID in July, and she said that itself wasn't bad, but she's had bad, bad, like, brain fog, her hair thinning and coming out a little bit, tachycardia, like, out of nowhere, insomnia, so it's there's more to it. Thank God I never got it, but she said, you know, that just dealing with when you have COVID is like a bad cold or flu, but, like, the after effects of long COVID, it's pretty, pretty weird and pretty serious. Would I date her if she was a liberal? No. Right off the bat, we established, you know, from our conversation, she's very conservative like me. Maybe more, meh, libertarian slash conservative. But if she was a liberal, I wouldn't bother with it. No, at this stage of my life, she's definitely not packing heat.
No, she doesn't hate the PMs here. She has some good friends that I actually, we mutually know. Um, one guy is a real good conservative, older black guy. He's like in his 70s and he look, he's got no wrinkles. He looks great for his age. But he's old school conservative, so 